Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's go ahead and jump into this Aries. Thank you Lord God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aries, we have um, New Moon and Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. And then we have Forgiveness. We have You Are Stronger Than You Know. Very old cards. But I love them. I should buy a new set. I don't know. Um, okay, so Aries, it looks like You were kind of cowering down or letting yourself be kind of taken advantage of or walked on or you were just going along to get along. It looks like now you're going to have to assert yourself. You're going to have to be that, um, that advocate for yourself, maybe even for other people, but definitely for yourself. It's something that you, you were kind of being taken advantage of or in a situation where it was just disproportionate and you were getting the small portion. Maybe you were getting a small portion of reward, but the larger portion of work. I don't know. You know, um, this is a, an energy where you have to stand up for yourself. And you have to upset this apple cart that you have been on uh, for a while. This is also a time for you to... You, sh you should do that because you should know that luck is on your side, okay? W with um, this new moon in Sagittarius. Um... Count your blessings too because a lot has happened for you in your life. You have a lot of things that you need to be um, uh, proud of and you need to uh, be grateful for. You could start a, a gratitude practice like writing down and journaling what you're grateful for. Um, the cards are asking you to not be narrow-minded but see the bigger picture, the larger scope of things here with this new moon in Sagittarius because nothing is written in stone or nothing is set in stone right now. Um, this is just a time for you to exchange your big ideas and get the the uh, notoriety and the prestige that you actually deserve in a situation. You need to also forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be in a place where you weren't shining or you weren't getting exactly what you deserve where you kind of um you were complacent or you you made concession for it. too many things too too many people um this is a this going to be a very fun time for you very healing time for you you need to laugh more, go to a comedy club, look at a funny movie, do something of that nature. Um, this is also a time for you to start a course about learning something or teaching, um, teacher or teaching or study something. Um, you might even be studying other people's behavior, um, behavior of science is what's coming up for me, um, because you're going to be some type of advocate. Or you want to be some type of advocate for people, places, things. I don't know. Um, whatever you decide to put your time, energy, effort into, do know that luck, the universe is on your side. This is what you should be doing. Go ahead and put your energy into it. Do know that luck is on your side in terms of um, dealing with situations also. Um, laugh, laugh things off also. If you feel like um, someone's trying to... Um, What's the word people is trying you or pushing your buttons? Laugh it off. Move on. Um, there's no need to to um, fight every battle here. Also, it's going to be opportunity for you to take some risk. Forgive yourself for maybe failed um, ventures in the past. Uh, not taking opportunities. Um, not speaking up on your behalf. Forgive yourself for that. Move on. And know that you are stronger. You're stronger than you know. You can actually champion this. This cause. This whatever it may be. 
you can actually get this done. Um, don't back down. Um, you might have to fight for something, but peacefully, you might have to fight for your own health and wellness here. Um, because somebody may be trying to come in and disturb it also. This is why you're going to have to assert yourself. Someone wants something from you while giving very little. Something is disproportionate. Um, so they want you to stand up for yourself. And don't back down. Don't cower. Don't run. Don't ignore. Deal with head on. Um, face it. Face to face. This could be at work. This could be in your personal life. Learn how to forgive um, and then move on. Now, you can move on with the person or you can just forgive and, and sever ties. Um, you can do either one of those things. Someone wants to come back in and kind of shift the energy, um, put you in a place of, uh, you know, where they can talk a good game and they get you back on board. They have very little to offer. They want all of your energy, your time, your effort, your work, whatever that may be. They want your forgiveness just in, in order to show you nothing. You know, in exchange for your forgiveness, you get nothing. Um, this is what maybe somebody is trying to do or what they have done. Or they, they want your forgiveness, but they have not changed. Nothing has changed. It's going to be the same thing. Forgive me, but yes, I, I will uh, lie to you, ghost you, cheat on you, whatever. I, I, nothing has changed here. This is a lucky period for you, but still um, act with some discretion and reserve. You know, don't bet the house. But, um, this looks like a really good time. And you're gonna have a hard time forgiving someone because they put you through a lot or they try to trick you. There's an element of trickery and you having to stand up and assert yourself and say, you know, I'm not gonna go for that. This is not, this is not that, this is not whatever. I don't know, you're gonna really have to um, be your own advocate and champion your own cause here um, and put yourself first. Forgive you for allowing yourself to be in something so uh, why is that word coming so debased? Mm. I don't know what happened. I don't know what you guys are doing. I don't know. But um, this is your reading, Aries. If you feel like the reading resonated for you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. If you want to bring in new energy, get in on the new moon manifestation session happening tomorrow, July 9th. The link is below if you want to participate in that. Um, if you want to bring in new love, new streams of income, banish old paradigms, fear, anxiety, overthinking, overindulgence, people, places, things, situations, events, get in on this energy so that you can start newness in your life, okay? All links are below. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.